Radish here. Today is a Friday and work is pretty much done for the day, so I thought why not explain to you guys exactly what I'm working on, without showing you any code because, well, I don't want to get sued, so yeah, I got myself the second coffee, damn that's good. Cool, so before I explain to you exactly what I'm working on, I have to explain a couple of things. First of all, you need to understand how any web application works. Basically, every web app out there has at least two parts. You have what's called the backend, and I'll just draw like... Okay, let me switch colors here. And you have the front end. The front end is basically whatever you see on your monitor. Whatever. Now, the front end needs to talk to the backend because the front end shows whatever information the backend stores. And this communication can be, well, a multitude of different types, but end of the day, it's all basically some request, right? So this is like, like a mail or something and you get like a response. Now that we know what every app looks like from like a really high level, where do I fit in? Well, for five years, I was mostly a backend developer. So, what's that? Well, my job started with a request that comes from the front end, and it ended by sending a response. Cool. So, this request is usually an HTTP request. And this can be one of multiple kinds of requests. So, you can have like a, a GET request, which just gets you some information. For example, get me the user with the ID of five, right? You can have a delete request, same thing. Delete me the user with the ID of five. You can have a post request that creates a user and you can have like a put which updates the user and you have some more uh, less frequently used verbs. Okay, so it all starts with one request. For example, let's imagine you have like a GET request. Let me switch this up. So you have the front end, which sends a GET request. Cool. And it hits the back end, which is like this black box. So from a front end perspective, you have no idea how the back end works. You just do a request and you get the answer and you don't really need to know anything else. But what happens next? Well, depending on what kind of programming language or framework or whatever, obviously this request is handled by a controller or something else. So in the backend, one method will get called. So inside you can have like your logic here and at the end you have to return that object or whatever. Cool. So that's like the basics. That was basically my job, anything that's related to the backend, so create new endpoints, modify existing endpoints, uh, do bug fixing, implement certain features that were available to only a part of the customers, and stuff like that. Right, now let me switch back to the initial drawing. Right, so in the past I was doing backend only. Now, for whatever reason, I'm also doing frontend, but I'm also doing backend. So this is what full stack development means. So you basically have to do everything because you also implement the front end, you get to call your back end, and you also have to implement that something that will handle your initial request. Now, do I like doing this? Well, yes, because doing only backend work can be a little confusing sometimes because you don't really understand how your service will be used. And now I get complete knowledge over the whole life cycle of the request. But now I also have to, well, do the front end, which I'm not really a fan of, but I'm still working on that. Now that I explained roughly how an app works and where does the developer fit in, I want to explain what I'm struggling with right now. Our app has a public backend, which means that some clients, if they pay a certain amount of money, can integrate with our backend. So they get to call it. If they don't want to do that, they can choose to use our frontend and our frontend will call the backend. Now, regardless of how you go about it, the backend should do the exact same thing, which means that if you're not allowed to do something from the frontend, 
you shouldn't be allowed to do that certain something by directly calling the backend. And that's exactly what I'm working on right now. I kind of found a bug and if you use the front end, everything is Gucci and you get a nice error saying that okay, you can't do this. But if you call the backend directly, you're all good, you're allowed to do it and nothing is stopping you. So yeah, I can't really go into much more detail than that, but you, you get the idea. Now, if you're a beginner and you want to start developing and creating apps and maybe even getting a job, you might be wondering what should you start working with. Should you focus on the back end? Should you focus on the front end? Or should you try to do both of them? Well, the answer is that there is no real answer. It all depends on what you like to do, what you don't like to do, your ability to understand how a lot of stuff works. Because if you start doing both of them, naturally it's gonna be way harder to get better at both of them and really understand what's happening. But if you only start with the front end part, all of this you don't have to worry. And if you start with the back end part, you don't have to worry about how the front end is being built. And I think the best way of doing this, let me take the red pen because this is important. Right, I think the best way of doing is to follow the T, the T shape. So that means choose something, for example, you choose backend. Get to really know backend. You have like a really deep understanding of backend. But also learn a little bit about frontend, just so you can handle yourself. I think this is like the perfect way of doing it. That's where I currently stand. And if you wanna be frontend heavy, that's perfectly fine. You can be like an angular genius and still manage to play with some, I don't know, something like a minimal API in .NET, which is nice and quick and easy to understand. That's basically what I wanted to talk to you about today, mainly because I didn't really prepare anything else. So, you know, I'm improvising here. But I think this is the really important knowledge for somebody just starting out and yeah, just trying to make sense of all the information that's out there can be really challenging. So yeah, hopefully this will help and also drink coffee. That's basically all I had to show you today. You know, the drill. I don't know, does it have an outline? Bye. <laughs>